Welcome back. Today I'm going to try to teach and or learn the Queen versus Knight checkmate. And in my uh, endgame book that I'm working on from Jeremy Silman, it says, as with Queen and Bishop, Queen versus Knight is a fairly simple win. But here, the Knight's strange leaping powers create some nasty forking possibilities. Uh, it also says, a knight can be tricky. If you're not paying attention, it can fork and win a queen. So be careful. So we're going to play against Stockfish. I'm playing with the white pieces. Let me set my book down. And uh, we're going to try to win. Uh, just as with the others, we know that we need to use the queen to draw a box around the king, around the enemy king, and we also know we can't checkmate the king in the middle of the board. Uh, we're going to have to get the king on the, one of the edges. I don't think it matters which one. And, and we're also going to need our king. The only difference here is that we're going to have to watch out for the knight. So, for example, we don't want the knight to be able to... Uh, get attack our queen although in this case it wouldn't matter quite so much because we can just move our queen out of the way however if our king were here and the knight forked we would be in trouble so let's not do that how can we draw this box smaller for the enemy king without endangering ourselves for example i could go here and draw the box this way but from there the knight could attack us either on uh what is that, e3 or b6? So I'm not sure where exactly to start. I know I don't want to bring the king right now because we're going to get immediately forked and it'll be over. So I'm going to, I'm going to put my queen right here and draw the box this way. And also that's a uh, position from which the knight cannot attack us and let's see what stockfish does I've never done this before I do know that the position that we started with I chose from the Lee Chess board editor which I mentioned how to use in another video and the position that it has set up for queen versus knight in game is the exact position shown in the Jeremy Selman book okay the knight is moving back Preventing us from moving here, which would draw the box slightly smaller. But from there, it cannot attack our queen. So I'm thinking now might be the time to start bringing our king. I'm not sure. Um, let's just do it. But I know that... Okay. I know that in general, we want our... Our king and queen to not be in a diagonal like this because they can be forked from say this spot or this spot and uh, we also don't want them to be uh, here or here because the knight could fork from there or there so we don't want them to be next to each other diagonally or one square apart horizontally or vertically if they're close to each other if they're right beside each other uh, the knight can't fork us and other positions so we're just gonna watch out for the knight let's see well we can't move our king now because of where the knight is but maybe we can draw the box a little smaller for the enemy king let's see what about here and I know that's what I said not to do but here the knight cannot fork us so let's try that and if the knight goes back to attack now nah, the knight will just go back to attack I think so what about here I also know the knight cannot fork us if we're in this position. It cannot attack both of those pieces at the same time. I do know that. Uh, they need to be beside each other, one square apart, or next to each other diagonally, or far apart, uh, like if our queen was over here. Okay. We can bring our king now, but then the knight can, f can check the king and we'd have to move it back. We could put our king here, and they cannot fork us both these places, although they could check us. This is going to be interesting. Um, what about here? Then the knight would not be able to check either one of us, but the king could come forward. If the king comes forward, maybe we can go back and trap him in this little box down here. 
And from here, the knight cannot check either one of us. Okay. Now we can bring our king here because the knight cannot attack our queen from this position or our king from this position, I think. Although it could come back in there where it just was. It didn't. Okay. The king has moved back. We want, again, we want to trap it on in a smaller and smaller box, which I could do from here, which would cut off more space uh, from the enemy king. I can't bring my king. I mean, I can bring my king right now because the knight can't get there to fork the two pieces. But I don't know if that's best. Um... If I go here, the knight can attack us, but that's okay, I think. I think it's okay if it attacks us. We can maybe just come over, because again, we want to slowly but surely push the king toward the edge of the board. We can also give a check here, but that makes the box slightly bigger, and I want the box to get slightly smaller. Not necessarily in number of squares, but in closer to the edge. So we're going to slowly raise the bar here. They can't fork us from there. Again, they can attack us with the knight. Or they could do that. Okay. We can bring our king, which forces the knight move again. But would the knight go back and check us? And then we would come here, I think. Let's see because it can attack both of us from that square and we're, it's in danger of being lost. Okay, it moved back. It didn't go here to check for some reason. Now we can draw the box a little smaller either by going directly here, which would force the king back, or I can go here and because our king, our king is right across from the enemy king with the opposition, that would also force the king back. So I think that's slightly better. Can they fork us from there? They can attack us with the knight from here, but first the king has to move. Okay. And then, let's see. They can attack our queen here. That's okay. Because first we're going to bring our king. And if they do attack us here, we can bring our queen here and draw the box that much smaller. So I think that's what I want to do. They would also, I mean, they can check us here, but of course we would just capture in that case. Wait, wait. If I go there, they can check me here. But then I would move over and have the opposition again. Okay. Just got to be careful for that knight. Yeah, okay, that is what they did. So I'm going to go here, which again puts the knight in danger of being captured. They can check us again. But then we would go here, maybe. Okay, because they can't fork us from there. They can just check us. Which they might do. They did not. Okay, very interesting. And again, you'll notice we have the opposition between the two kings. So we can force the king back. And I don't know which way is best here. Uh, I like this. There's also this. And I don't know which one is better. Uh, coming here to d6 gives the king... If I go here, that gives the king choices. Whether to go to the slightly larger box on the right or the slightly smaller box on the left. If I go here... That also gives the king the choice. Okay, so I don't know what difference it makes. However, if I go here, whichever way the king moves back, I can come across and the king is trapped down there on the back rank. Um, I think that's my better move at this position. And I'm not sure. Okay, it went back there. They cannot currently check us because of where our king and the knight are positioned. So our king is relatively safe right now. We just can't bring it forward yet, which is what we ultimately want. We want the king trapped on the back rank. We can bring it forward this way, but that opens us up to a check. But then wouldn't we move here? 
They could check us again, but we would move here, preparing a checkmate. Maybe. I'm not sure. I, th I think our, right now, I think our best move is to bring the queen across. Let's see. If I put the queen here, I've thought about that too. That really forcefully traps the king over here in these four squares. So if I bring the queen here, the knight can't attack us because we'll just take it. I think that's the best move because the king can't stay here to defend the knight and if the knight moves I guess the knight could move here though if we moved to this spot the knight could go there maybe creating an escape route for the king uh, yeah I'm just I'm gonna come across this way and I'm going to trap the king in these four squares and see what happens. Okay, it went here. From there, it can attack our queen. But does it want to? We certainly don't want to bring the king right now. That's bad, because then uh, there will be a fork here. So we definitely don't want that. Let's see. What does that do? That prevents the king from escaping that way, but it can still escape this way. What about this? That's a check, which forces a king move, and but we're letting the king off the back rank in that, in that situation. The king escapes our box. Hmm. Okay, this is complicated. Maybe I should have made the other move that I was thinking of. Um... But yeah, we definitely don't want that because of the fork. What? A, oh, we can't go there because that's check. We can bring our queen. We can just make a waiting move with our queen. Let's do that and see what happens because they can't attack either one of us with the knight at this point. Okay, now they can't move the knight at all because it's pinned. Okay, I like that. We've pinned the knight, but we also can't move our king any closer because of this, uh, well, the knight protects this square here. Um, how do I get a different color? The knight is protecting that square, and the king is protecting these two. So we can't bring our king any closer. We can, we can make a waiting move with our king, maybe, because the knight can't move, so the king has to move. Hmm. I don't know. Also, because of the way the knight works, we can't check in either one of these positions. Or uh, either one of those two squares. Should I go here or here with my king? Well, we've let the king out of the box. We've, ma we've made a, a mistake here. Um... I, I've made a mistake. I can't, can't put that on you, can I? Um, okay. I like checking here because we have the opposition on this side. If we check here, the king just goes back, though, I think. Also, no, I, I don't like that because we're setting ourselves up for a fork. Uh, but then... But the king has to move, and then I get to move again. I, is it going to come out of the box? If it does, I get the knight. So, okay, I got the knight. Okay, now I know how to do this. I thought it was going to go back. I wasn't even sure how to win that, but we know how to draw the box smaller now. Uh, wherever the king goes, uh, we can bring our king, and we can continue pushing it back. Uh, even We can even do this with the rook, but we're going to do it with the queen. We're going to move here, which now draws a very small box. And now that it's on the back rank, we've got it trapped on the back rank. It's stuck in these squares right here. And we're just going to bring our king. And then when our king is close enough, we will have checkmate. Because it has to move here now. And that's checkmate. Okay, that also would have been checkmate. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Um, hopefully that was instructive. This was my first time trying the queen versus knight checkmate. And uh, 
Now we can do that one. So we're progressing in endgames. We'll see you next time.